Welcome back. Morning of day three. We um, we had a little bit of an issue last night. A number of zombies came around to say hi, and we almost lost Jaden. At least he was able to heal. While I start to organize, so I start to put things in different boxes because it was just uh, it was just getting confusing. And I also got rid of the big structure that was here. Gave us a little bit of the iron that was needed. And we cleared as much as we could from this spot, getting some nails and screws. I've also gone around and got rid of the cars so that we could get enough iron to complete our forge quests. So we needed 750 iron so let's uh i've accumulated that got enough here all right these guys are protecting me i'm not going to worry too much about it so now we can talk to the trader good job now I can move and on actually time. before I, I go there see i've got a concussion and i'm up to 6.8 percent infection because of those damn zombies um there, there are quite a bit of them good job and so I am going to take those painkillers because I do need them. And now we should have our forge schematic. So we're going we're gonna to learn that. We're going to get rid of our concussion. I'm definitely going to need... I don't think I have anything to cure my infection. No. Nope. I'm going to need that. One thing I did notice, maybe some of you had, is my trainer's gone and my panther as well. So one or two things happened. Either this is uh, a glitch. This, I believe, happens sometimes when um, using NPC mods. And so either that or there's a bunch of zombies that came around and killed them both. But I, I suspect it was the first one because Briston's still standing. So in this case, let's assume this is a good, good scenario. Let's assume either... You lose one of your trainers or Briston because they do have life. They're not invulnerable. Um, or they disappear on you. You can obviously get them back with the creative menu. But let's say they died and you wanted to be fair. Then you can actually get yourself another Briston. But it will cost you. Now, you can abuse this if you want. I think that... Um, there's a downside to that. If you have too many NPCs shooting, then your performance will degrade. So this is really just in the case where he dies and you want to get him back. In our case, let's just get our trainer back. Uh, one of these guys and our panther. There. Because that's just fair. If they disappear on you because of a glitch you shouldn't have to uh, craft them again. The the horror panther you can craft. Actually, the, the panther... Hmm, will I bring it with me? I'll store it for now. Let's put it in the, uh, the ammo box. Where's the ammo box? Maybe the last one? There we go. Store it for now. What you can do if you're really worried about if you're playing on a multiplayer server and other people are still playing and you log off, you can you can store them in your boxes uh, for the next time. You cannot store your hired NPCs, but at least you can store your trainers. These guys are a little bit of a commodity. We, we can get some more. But I uh, wanted to focus on the forge. So what do I need for the forge. I need an anvil, claw hammer, wood log. I don't I think I have a tools box. I have a hammer, but I don't have the other one. So I'll have to, I'll have to wait for that. Um, but I will need some, some planks. And let's say, we've got to fetch. I think I'll also do the alchemy quest. So for that, we need some planks, some nails, uh, broken glass, and some paper. Let's see. I've 
got enough paper. I don't have enough broken glass, so we'll need eight more of that. And uh, nails. Yeah, I definitely have enough nails. So we'll need to chop down some woods. Um, let's do our let's do our mission. Uh, follow me. Whoops. So we do have a tier one fetch. Let's go do that with our survivor. Uh, looks like it's this li little cemetery. Well, the other thing I forgot to mention is while I was fighting during the night, I did get my first potion vial. So now I can craft these vials, um, craft vials, and then craft these potions. But I will need to get the alchemy table set up. And I probably need the furnace because you need the furnace in order to make some vials. So let's scrap this and I will keep this handy just in case we need it. All right, Jaden, let's do this. So what I try and do is hit them at least once because Jaden will trigger um, only if I attack or I get attacked. So it's always a good idea to just target everything around you so that he can, um, he can help you out. Hit this guy. See, these pipe rifle guys are, are actually pretty good. They do some decent damage. Just have to help out as well. Good job, buddy. All right, let's get some broken glass. Don't need some paper. Actually, may pick up some. Sweet treasure map. Um, I think I have one, but just in case. Ready. We're here. is a fetch. Okay. I'll need to find the satchel. See what's in here. Ah, uh, 12 bucks. Not really worth it. Awesome. Let's see what this passing gas would give me. Oh, sweet. Exactly what I wanted. That way we can chop down some trees much faster. All right, where is this thing? I guess it's inside. No thanks. Where in the world? Oh, we do need the broken glass. 
It was outside. But let's pick up this broken glass first. We do with our hands, yeah. Really? Ah, there it was. Perfect. So we have enough broken glass. I think the only thing we're missing are logs. We've got our fire axe. So this is looking great. Um, let's get back there. We'll visit the trader. Once we do that, chop some wood down, make our alchemy table. Never get enough of those. My lords. Ah, it's that damn uh, pill. Hydrated. Whoa. Oh, you've got a fire axe too. Let's see if yours is better. It is. Sweet. Thanks, Jaden. There's one thing that's nice about the bandits is if you're missing something like this fire axe and uh, there just happens to be a bandit with a fire axe, then you know you'll be able to harvest that one. And given there's uh, quite the random rolls on these tools and weapons, it's always a good idea to... Uh, I forgot that we can't use that one. It's always a good idea to either craft some new ones but you stay over there. Okay, close the door. What it must be, my lucky All right, lady. let's see. Do we get a better one? Yo. Block damage, yeah. Let's do that. All right, what do you have for me? Get a job for someone of your God Bungalow. And good luck. Sell you this. I thank you, kind sir. Oh, sweet. Five. Let's see what else? Um, I'll keep that just in case. Do you have an anvil? So I'll buy one. Um,. You come back sometime. I do have a hammer. Whoa, look at this weather. This is awful. Right, so let's get closer to home. Uh, where is home? And then we'll chop down some trees, get the alchemy kit, the table crafted. And I've noticed the last episode, I think I... I had it going for something like an hour, which is a little bit too long. So I think I'll cut down the length of the episodes and just do uh, do more of them. Okay, so let's just dump everything we can into these boxes. Girls there. Okay, perfect. So, I believe I'm keeping the mods in here. Let's read this treasure map. I'm still infected. All right, I do need to eat, so let's do this. How much does this give me? 35. Yeah, let's do it. Gives me water too. That's perfect. So we should be good. Um, let's see, what do I want? Let's keep going in Constitution. Always good to have more room. And now I can actually craft myself a pack mule. And what are my glasses again? 
healing factor. Let's look. Iron gut. Used by one buffs to. Hmm. It's not worth it. I'm gonna wait a bit. Let's at least do one pack meal. Oh, did I craft two? Damn, I crafted two. Well, that's fine. We'll keep the other one for the next rounds. Whenever we reach level two. Let's drop this in the materials. And now I do need some logs to make both some planks and the the forge. So, um, you know what? You can follow me. You can protect me just in case we have some people around. Uh, just to, to help out. Let's take the mods out of here. Oh, I can't use that one. Interesting. Chop down some trees. Okay, so I need one log for the forge. And I need a bunch. I forget how many planks I get per, per log. Because normally, my guy's not supposed to shoot anything unless I'm targeted. But there is also another case if there's an NPC around that is fighting, um, they will go lend a hand. So that's why you saw him go off and fight. See, same thing. You heard the NPC get hurt. And he went to, uh, to help out. That NPC has a death wish. Shit. Dire wolf. Um, this might be a good time to use this. attack oh shit ah uh, didn't want to throw it oh my god I'm gonna die <laughs> maybe I made a mistake there uh Oh, poor Jaden. Is he going to die? Oh, I killed Jaden. Buddy. Ah, oh, my bad. All right, lesson learned. No Molotovs <laughs> close to NPCs. Well, that's a thousand bucks down the drain. But we got some food. All right, let's keep going. We need some trees. How many logs do we have? 14 logs. Maybe one more tree should do it. Ah, oh, Jaden. I have to gather more uh, more cash to get another NPC now. It doesn't really matter. It's not because you've created the mod that you don't make mistakes. need some sexual T-Rex. Help me with that stamina. I don't trust the sounds. Could be a bandit. Alright, that should be enough. Give this a go. Okay. Yes, free feathers. And bones and rotting flesh. 
need more. Jesus. How many are there? Come on, guys. Jeez. Look at all those. Get too close. Come on, guys. Shoot them. Well done. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. Invasion of the Vultures. Christ. Gonna heal up just in case. Yeah, I think we're done. Well, this is gonna set us up for a while now. That's it. All right. Good stuff. Have to check how many of these resources we got. So we got, wow, 390 feathers. That's insane. So we're going to get our hammer. We're going to sacrifice this hammer for the sake of making the forge. And then we're going to use these branches as fuel to make some wood planks. 126. Fantastic. See what else do we have to store? Uh, more feathers. Let's put this wood in here. I believe this should go with this area. And we got some sticks. Perfect. Sticks. Wait, sticks and stones and feathers. And we'll make ourselves some bolts. Awesome. Uh, sticks. Actually, you know what? Not done? Where are they coming from? I got from my guys. All right, so let's keep them in here. And as we get more, you know, I, I have to, I have to get some more. I don't know if we missed one, that should be enough. Okay, so let's go back to the alchemy table. So I need nails. I need wood planks. I need paper. Yeah, got enough. Good job. Now we can move on. Oh, to perfect. Place. Claw hammer. Thank you, Briston. And now I will. Well, I have to learn it first. Uh, am I missing something? Thanks. Ah, uh, broken glass. Great. Now we can put down this forge. Perfect. Do I need anything here? Not yet. Put this back. This can go in the tools. Uh, rotting flesh goes there. Wow. This 
it's an endless stream of vultures. Okay, so while we do that, tier one. Um, oh, that's right, we lost our guy. Well, you know what? I won't repeat the same mistake, and I will take our panther with us. Let's do our fetch. And then once the fetch is done, we'll be able to get to the alchemy table and hopefully make some um, mind control bolts or um, I do need the furnace for, for the vials, so I'll have to wait for those. Mr. Bandit, what do you carry? A knife. You know what? I'll need some help. Good job, Shadow. Take care of this guy. Light heal up, please. Let's do one more. what's in this car intelligence level one it's great okay let's get this going There's bound to be someone there yep. damn nope not yet These explodey zombies. Ah, it's freaked me out. Oh, perfect. These guys could be coming from the top. Let's close this just so we can loot. Oh, or not. Three of them. Oh, I don't have any bullets. Go on, Shadow. Oh, my stamina. Explodey. Ah, oh, man. Oh, gold nugget. Fantastic. So, in vanilla, normally you would dispense of those gold nuggets for cash. Uh, in this mod, you keep them because there is... There are a number of recipes... Um, if we check for some of the auras and some of the, um, some of the, not the end tier weapons, but, uh, actually let's keep this close. Another one. Awesome. Although I can't use the arrow, I don't have a bow. We cannot seem to catch a break when we're in a POI. There's always a stream of zombies. All right, buddy. Did we check that? Yep. Out to be someone. 
out here. Nope. If I loot this, I'm gonna pick up that lamp. As I mentioned earlier, it's good to have when you're mining. Or even at night. I found last night when I was fighting that stream of zombies that it was so dark, it was tough to see. Did hear someone. My god, it's explosive. Immune zombies are everywhere. Reach is crazy. It's supposed to have, okay, the supplies are upstairs. But I will pick up this cement for sure, on the cobblestone. Water's still pretty low. Please, coffee. Yeah, it's two coffees. I think I missed some earlier on. A pretty good source of brass. Early on won't be necessary because I won't be able to make some ammo. But it does accumulate. So the only way to turn that into something useful is to actually have a shredder. So whenever we reach the appropriate level, we'll definitely need to do the quest for the Shredder. Let's close this just in case. No, I definitely keep it because it does sell for a lot. Eat. I feel like there's a survivor or maybe a bandit. Ah, no, 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 no. Always have to check for a toilet pistol. Nope. No oh, repair kits. Fantastic. All right. You can't go up with me, so let me pick you up. And I'll drop you down. There are some situations where your companions or the NPCs won't be able to follow you. This is an example. A lot, uh, some stairs like that, missing a block. Um, I'm not sure about the NPCs, but the companions for sure won't be able to know that they have to jump. So when it comes to the hired NPCs, unfortunately, you can't pick them up. But the companions, at, at a minimum, uh, 
You should try to. Okay. Uh, I do not want the mind control bows. Sorry, bolts. One thing I do like about the bows and the crossbows is that you do have a chance to get your ammo back. Let's see, is there someone else in here? Oh, yes, of course. Shadow. What do you have on you? Do this loot, then we'll turn this back into the trader. Nothing. Ah, uh, I don't need these pistols. I will eat that. Um, won't ever use that. We're burdened by 15. That's not good. Sweet. Okay. So let's just see if there's anything that we can dispense of. Uh, I don't need that. We'll make more of this. I can eat that. Jesus, guys, leave me alone. Got a grill, that's awesome. Uh, we can always pick more of those. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, is it? I'm really slow still. Actually, let's use that so we don't get infected for a while. I uh, won't need the buckshot. And I can't use this anyway. All right, buddy. Just focus on getting out of here. I will need your help. how easy it is to get out of here. I uh, should be able to get through here. I don't see you. Let's close this because I do want to get this radiator. I think that's the one I had missed. I think my buddy can't get through. Where are you? Oh no, here you are. Out of breath. All right, let's turn this in. We're actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to base and we're going to end the episode here. Oh my God. <laughs> See? This is a uh, newbie mistake of not focusing on the quest objective, which was to do a fetch. So focused on the loot. Oh, and I just noticed I'm at 17% infection. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go up here. We'll end the episode and I'll store some of this stuff. We'll have to get another mission. Unfortunately, we'll get the alchemy table set up and we'll try and focus on getting that infection treated. So I'll see you in the next episode.